gone are the days when cell phones were as big as tablets, and televisions weighed as much as an average adult. Today, they're smaller, lighter, and better than ever. So why would anyone want a computer that covers 9,000 square feet and weighs more than 40 tons? We are the 14th fastest computer in the world and the seventh fastest in the United States. The supercomputer is called Spirit, after the B-2. Its home is the Air Force Research Laboratory Supercomputer Resource Center on Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And its capabilities are mind-boggling. 73,728 processor cores. You can think of it as about 30,000 uh, desktop computers that you would have at home, all in one location. 4.6 petabytes of data storage. Petabytes, you can think of it as uh, more than you know, 5,000 disk drives that you would have in your home system. That gives Spirit enough capacity to calculate 1,500 trillion calculations a second. So this here is our compute cap. But why would the Department of Defense need a computer that fast? This computer is going to allow people to do simulations on orders and scales that they just have never dreamed of. So these are the jobs that are running on the system? Spirit's combination of size and speed allows DOD customers around the world to run 10,000 processors at the same time to solve complex problems. For example, a naval air station in Virginia can perform a simulation on an Osprey. At the same time, an Air Force base in Missouri is testing airflow over a B-2's wing at high speeds. There was a situation where on the F-15 they started to get a real strong buffeting and it was actually tearing the, the tail fins off of an F-15 and you can find those things out by doing modeling and simulation. Simulating, flying that thing at all kinds of angles attack, all kinds of speeds, makes it a lot easier to debug problems like that. And simulating in Spirit's virtual world can save big bucks in the real world. It's free for DOD employees to use. So you think of rolling a big airplane into a wind tunnel and setting up the tests and how many people that would take, and suddenly now you can do multiple simulations on these large-scale computers and save time, money, and uh, lots of effort. Despite Spirit's massive size, the Supercomputer Resource Center still has plenty of room and plans on adding another supercomputer next year. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, I'm Matthew Klaus.